Hey, what's up guys? So, today we'll be playing against Utopia. I believe that Utopia is a Lucario player, if I recall correctly. So, without further ado, let's just get on to the game. And I'll talk a little bit about the playstyle and everything that comes into it. So, Utopia has come a very long way from just playing against literally everyone. He is a player that you really should be looking out for. He's a very hardworking player. And he should not be taken lightly. There is a lot of room for improvement. He's not one of the best Lucarius around, but he can definitely get there. So right now, this skill phase. Nice response. This is not the best option right now. Yeah. So he really tries to counterattack. Which we could take into our advantage because if he tries to do the best option, then if he tries to do what he thinks is the best option, then we just oh, what type of option is he gonna do? I'll we'll get to take advantage of that. He's a very reactive player, so don't just throw moves at him. All right, what are you gonna do? That's a very fine move. Nice. I did not think that that was gonna catch. Oh, be careful. That's bad. I think I kill him though. Yeah. You have to be very careful. You have to respect that Litten. If I throw Litten in neutral, you can jump over it. Because yes, every character can technically jump over Litten or do something around Litten. So don't let me throw it around in neutral like that. On the other side, don't just press moves when you see Litten being up. I mean, if you do anything and I throw Litten, it's kind of game over from there. Nice. I have to be more careful with that. Alright. I know what I want to... I want to try out... A kill phase setup. We sat on you too. Oh, that's bad. That's a full combo. Ow. Nice. That was just unlucky. It was just a checkmate. Nice. Ow. Alright, he's gonna bone rush? I mean, I was kinda right. Excuse me, sir, what? Alright, I'm not losing this round. Burst. You should have burst it when you had the chance. Now I'm gonna burst you like this. I could have grabbed him too. Oh, come on. I thought I could thunder him. Ah, oh, come on. Anyway. Nope. I had a feeling I was just gonna go for a grab there. That's a light hit. You have to be careful with that. Okay, another thing that I think that he should be watching out for 
is throwing moves like the strength of Lucario is the fact that you have very safe pokes, very safe moves that you can take advantage of. His hand tire is really good. And then on top of that, he has his E speed for DP. He has moves that are very safe. And if he uses those moves more or in better situations, he could be getting a lot more mileage out of the way that he's playing right now. Ooh. Uh. Uh. I'm not gonna go for one hit and then do. I messed up. I could have killed him too. Oh shoot. But what if I did? Oh shoot, that's- Oh no, you took too long! That's so unfortunate. I messed up. He could have probably killed me actually. better too. Um, I could've just played it a lot more patient. I had that game. I'm gonna do this. Now he's against the wall. Now he's out of the wall. I didn't expect him to wall spot. Oh. I don't know about that. That puts him airborne, that's so cool. Oh, you have to dash forward. situation same which you can actually throw that first and punch that teleport even though it's up nice spacing you have to take advantage of that in this matchup actually. If anything I'll go for something like um not even Umbreon. I think Jirachi is a very solid support for Lucario. He didn't go for a follow-up. He didn't expect me to probably go that ham. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. 
That was fake. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Burst. Burst. Okay. Ah! Uh. See, if he had Jirachi Kari, he would have probably killed me there. I mean, I still died, but point still stands. I don't know, I just don't think that Rotom is doing that much. I'm just gonna finish this in field face. Because my field face is way better than his. So face shifting him, not worth it for me. Unless he was about to get burst. Backdashing is not what you want to do in this matchup. Oh wow. No! You reset your own PSP, boy! That's not good. That was fake, by the way. He could have, um, blocked that. Now, Togekiss is a very interesting option because I think Togekiss is really good to combat a uh, pillar in dual face. very committal moves like his strong moves are very committal so for example if you jump over his side wave bam over if he throws his six Y, which is his pillar in dual face and you're very close to him or you can get up close to him it's a very bad spot you can't just throw six way against aggie slash because he can just 2x x you even in burst because it's a heavy and togekiss just accentuates that because it gives you a lot more chance to just think of another option or to move faster. Really good, really smart decision. I I would have liked him to say in Togekiss. Togekiss is a way better option. Alright. Come on. So, technically speaking, I shouldn't be giving him a turn. But because I know that by giving him a turn, I'm going to... He's going to press a button that's unsafe. I'm letting him do it because I know that I can punish him first. But otherwise, if Shadow Mitsu just gives you time to breathe, then just... Let him waste his own burst mode. Like, unless he's setting up on you, he's not doing anything on my camera, I just died. Give me one second, guys. Uh. Anyway. Ah. That's fine, I'm gonna get the synergy crystals? No. Oh. 
Oh, you gotta be careful with that, man. Oh, I'm getting hit. I might death though. I think I die actually. Gotta be careful with that. Alright. Nice. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is he dead? Okay, he is. Got it. I was gonna be really sad if he... He died to that. The score is 6-0, right? Oh, you know where there's some good supports for Lucario now that I think about it? Eevee Frogadier is actually pretty good. If you're struggling against Shadow Mitsu's Field Face, Frog can be a really good support for that. If you want a more aggressive option, I guess Miss Magus could be pretty good as well, but I haven't tested that out. Yeah, there you go, Frog. Frog to win Field Face. That's bad. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no. I was I was mentioning homing anyway, but oh no. That's rough. That's just rough. I've been there. That's a good option. There you go. And then bam, you win the face, and then you go into burst immediately. You should go into burst now. You should go into burst now. Okay, fine. He has a lot of confidence right now. Oh no. But see, now I have first to fight his first. Uh. You can't do that. Oh. Come on, first. Oh. I. Oh my god. I low-key want him to win now. Utopia! You have first! You had first! You can't just... Oh my god. My boy. My boy. You... Ah. You had first. In situations like that, just use your first. Don't save it. Just just use it. Trust me. It's way better to spend your burst and just win the round than, than for that to happen to you. Really? Not a crit, which I'm thankful for. Ow. Alright. Really? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get grabbed. I was thinking of DPing too. But I'm like, ah, I have play and I can use it, right? No, I can't. Alright, in this situation, yeah. Come on, come at me. Nice, I can, nice. Now... It's fine not bursting here because I'm full health, it's full health. I'll give him that much.
Yeah, he shouldn't burst in kill face though. I think that kill face is better for him. But now I have burn. So I'm just gonna do... Oh, okay. Chronicle Frog. Ah, uh, uh, he won. <laughs> All right. See, like that was a lot better. I could have played it a lot better too, but like the point is proven. You, you get a lot of advantage just by pressing first. If he try to say burst again, think about all the advantage that he would have lost. like a punch, right? That's fine. Nice, I got an upper lane. I feel he called it too early. But he still got the face, so that's good. Oh, don't back up too much. You have to be careful with that. Don't press a button. Alright, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. That's a me thing. Nice empty jump. Jesus! Like, look at all that damage. Can I kill you? No. Can I block this? Yes, I can. You can't press that button against out of YouTube. Yeah, he hasn't given me a reason to, like, not press it either, you know? Like, if I see him charging the dash, and if, or if I see him charge or a spear, and I'm at a safe distance, then I'm just gonna press burst. And it, because it's really hard for me to, like, read, like, a dash forward or something like that. Oh! Uh, I can't... I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna counter that second time. Ooh. Nice footsies. There you go! I don't know about that. But everything else was really good. Alright. Don't block. Nice. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna go forward. I didn't really want to do that. Okay, he's gonna press burst. I wonder if he tried to press burst there. See, there you go. Great. I try to ban it. I try to vanish. I'm gonna be honest. I have to practice that. I know that I can vanish. I have to time it right. Oh. Alright, don't jump. Oh my god! I am so sorry. Don't call it. I think he tried calling out at that situation. Alright, I'm just gonna charge this. Okay. 
That's fine. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Bruh, I am so sorry. I am so sorry, bruh. I am so sorry. I... <laughs> oh no. What do I say about, like, I'm, I'm sorry. Nice, I took too long. Nice. Oh my god! I'm gonna go back to field faces to heal up and then... He has frog though, so I'm just gonna approach closely. I did not want to do that, but... okay. Oh. Ah, I'm throwing. Come on, what are you gonna do? Nice. <gasps> I have my camera dead again. Alright, give me one sec. I guess we'll be winning this round. Like that. Oh! Okay, I guess not. Nice combo. Now he has burst. Alright. Alright, I, I need him to use burst now. I need you to use burst now. Thank you. Uh, don't grab me. Okay, we take those. We take those, we take those. So, as a character that gains meter faster than the opponent, then I try to wait, make them waste burst. And it is my mission now to win guild face. And I failed that mission. I don't know about that. He could have actually blocked that and then done a super good punish. So, but he's not used to the support. Oh god, where can I be any synergy-wise? Okay, I'm, I'm throwing. Perfect block? No perfect block, okay. That's a lot of chip damage. Burst. My final verdict is Utopia. His Lucard is clean, he just needs to definitely optimize a little bit. Optimize his combos, he's dropping a couple of things, but his combo game is pretty clean. He knows how to footsie, he needs to footsie more. I believe that he just needs to not jump to try to get his turn because the opponent might be baiting him. Case in point when he was jumping against Burst Shadow Me too. And other than that, I recommend him to try out supports like Togekiss and supports like Frogadier. He has a very ranked mindset, I see that. Like his mix up game, pretty good. He goes for options that are really risky, and he really depends on the opponent making mistakes, rather than making those mis making the opponent make the mistakes. A good example of doing that, I you could just look at stuff like Aura Master is really good at doing that. They know when to play safe and everything. Other than that, GG's guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and sub, so that I can so that I can play against more people and you guys can see more. Without further ado, I'll talk to you guys later.